What's up, family? If I can start off with a beautiful message. Uh, John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. If I can to repeat that. In the world ye shall have tribulation. Wow. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Father God, I thank you for that beautiful word. I thank you for that beautiful message. I thank you so much for telling us beforehand that in this world we will have troubles. We will go through obstacles, hurdles, speed bumps, find ourselves in many situations that we are not too fond of. Those things that we were trying so hard to avoid, those are the things that come up to our doorsteps. Father God, Jesus, I thank you so much for that word, for that good news. But if I read the message clearly, it said to be of good cheer, to not let the bad news overtake you. Why? Because you have already overcome the world. Jesus, I thank you for already overcoming the world. That verse right there is a whole sermon. It's, it's good enough news for me. Um, before this video, I would like to say this video is for the defeated. It's for the low in spirit. So if your day is going all goody goody, peaches and cream, you could go ahead and exit out. Go watch another entertaining video on YouTube. It's a bunch out there. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but um, obstacles. What do a young black guy living in Miami know about obstacles? I'm reminded of a time when I was in middle school and the, the school security guard, he was going from lunch table to lunch table looking for a guy with my name. Me not knowing anything, I raise my hand up and I'm like, yeah, that's me. He takes me to the uh, office, the school office. And I'm just standing there. He's telling me I got a warrant. There's a warrant out for my arrest. He's going to take me to the police station. All that goody goody. And uh, I remember him telling me if I felt like running or anything like that. I guess most of the individuals that he go and pick up from school, that's what they do. I wasn't going to run. He was like, if you feel like running, let me know now so I can put the handcuffs on you. And the school officials are like, um, oh, yeah, when you guys are leaving, just take them through the back door. We don't want the parents seeing that we have kids like that attending our school. What do I know about obstacles? Mind you, I'm in middle school. In middle school, I was in and out of juvie. What do I know about obstacles? Uh, the first time I had handcuffs on me, I was 13. What do I know about obstacles? Father God, Jesus, I thank you so much for the situation that you have put me through. To be able to tell others that if I made it through, that you could deliver them also. Again, we find ourselves in situations that we are not too fond of. We get married, we think the marriage is going to be all peaches and cream, lovey-dovey, and then things go south. And now you're reconsidering the marriage. You're reconsidering the friendship. You experience betrayal, a backstab. You thought that person was going to be there for you through thick and thin, through everything. <laughs> and then things go left. Well, Josh, if you've been through so much, and possibly while you're doing this video, you're probably experiencing something. Uh, many people didn't know my last video. Maybe everybody thought that I was having a good day. I actually made that video after experience a not so well day, but God is so good, he's able to bring that up out of you. He already said, I have overcome the world. I'm giving you this peace. I'm telling you everything beforehand so that you might have peace. We ought to thank God for giving us that knowledge. Knowledge is power. The more you know, the further you're able to go. So um, as I continue, yeah, I was able to make that video. I was still praising God through, through the storm. I'm going to praise you, God, in this storm. That's what we ought to do. That's how that video came about. And even with this video, 
I was recently going through some things, but still, I got to motivate. If you're not a self-motivator, you're not going to make it in this world. Only the self-motivated lasts. You can watch a motivated, motivational video, and then after that, what next? That motivation may be lost. You may lose it. But you got to learn how to self-motivate yourself. You got to learn how to push yourself when you don't feel like pushing. You got to always have that in the back of your mind that even though I'm going through something right now, I can still get through it. I can still push it out. Push it out. A closed door is not always locked. All you got to do is push. So, yeah. That's my main idea for this, for this message, for this video. Throughout all the obstacles, the hurdles, the speed bumps that we might we might find ourselves in. We got to keep on going. We got to keep on pushing. God is good enough to get us through. A couple of stories that I'm familiar with. Amazon wasn't making too much money in the beginning, but they kept on going. And now Jeff Be Be Bezos is worth so much. They told Rosa Parks that she wasn't allowed to sit in front of the bus. Now, you know the story nowadays. Blacks could sit wherever they want. They told Oprah that she wasn't fit for television. Walt Disney, they told him that he had no creativity. If we would have listened to these negative voices... Every time we're faced with, faced with a situation in life, there's a positive voice and there's a negative voice. If we're to listen to these negative voices, where would we be? That negative voice that tells you to stay in bed, don't don't go out of bed, don't go out, just stay in the house. Where, where would you be? You got to take heed to God's words and listen to that positive voice and just push yourself to keep going. Oh man, I'm so big on those two words right there, to keep going. I'm a young guy, but I've been faced with many situations where I didn't feel like going anymore. Yeah, where I didn't feel like pushing anymore. But I know that whenever I find myself in a tough obstacle, a tough situation, that I'm going to tell myself to keep on going. I'm big on self-motivation. Real big on self-motivation. I believe that's the good word that I want to leave you, you, you wonderful folks with today. You wonderful folks. You top of the world folks. I see goodness and greatness in everybody. I don't care where you are in life right now. You could be a homeless person out there on the street right now. The homeless person and the billionaire both have 24 hours in a day. It's a matter of what they do with their time. I believe that homeless guy is as valuable as the billionaire. I believe it. I believe he could become a billionaire if he want to. I believe we can achieve all of our desires if we desire to, no matter where we find ourselves at in life right now. I don't care where you come from. You could be the most brokest person in the world right now. You can become a billionaire in time if it's, if it's your desire. I'm really big on that. I believe that's the end of the word today. Much love to you guys.